All right, back to the nation's capital now, where 2024 Republican presidential candidates are attending the Freedom and Faith Coalition's Road to Majority Conference. This is a live look. Former President Trump will also be speaking uh, fresh off his federal indictment. He'll end uh, the speakers tomorrow night. He'll be talking at the Patriots Gala. John Seaton is with us now, Republican strategist and former political operative for presidential campaigns for Lindsey Graham, John McCain, and George Bush. Uh, thanks for being with us this morning. I, I want to start with Trump because as he is speaking this weekend at the Patriots Gala, every time he takes the stage now, his legal team must be anxious about what he may say given his recent indictments. What's the risk reward on the campaign trail with this? Well, look, I, I think that, first of all, thank you for having me. I think that uh, President Trump um, is, is not, does not have a glide path to nomination. He knows he has to get out. He has to work hard. He has to reconnect with the voters who uh, twice gave him the Republican nomination if he wants to win it a third time. And um, while certainly it's not a surprise that he's not always the most disciplined candidate on the stump, it seems to work with him, uh, work for him with voters. So uh, I'm not a legal expert, but uh, from a political standpoint, I think it's smart for him to get out there. And uh, I'm, I'm certain that he may be right. His lawyers may be holding their breath. But uh, uh, in, in terms of the presidential campaign, he's, uh, he's, he's doing the right thing. Right. He's got to get out there, right? It's not really an yeah. option. Talk about the Faith and Freedom Forum, who the audience is as we prepare to hear from a number of GOP hopefuls. So the, um, the the forum is is, is largely uh, uh, comprised of evangelical and uh, social conservative uh, Republican largely Republican primary voters. And so uh, in, in the clip you you ran earlier with uh, Mr. Ramaswamy, uh, very red meat crowd, a lot of talk about pro-life movement um, and also, um, you know, freedom of religion. Um, you'll hear a lot about um, uh, uh, issues such as that. And so I do think that this is a very important voting block for voters to, to connect with. And I think a number of Republican candidates are really making uh, this coalition the centerpiece of their campaign. So uh, I do expect there to be uh, a, a lot of Republican primary candidates attending, and uh, it'll be very interesting to see who kind of connects with that audience. I, I do expect at least one candidate, if not more, to uh, come out of here with a little bit of uh, momentum. Right. It gives them a chance to be very clear about their thoughts on some hot button issues. Uh, abortion is one of them. You heard Vivek Ramaswamy say a moment ago. I want to talk to you, yeah. John, about this growing field of GOP candidates who will make it onto that debate stage for the first primary debate in August. The RNC has set some very specific criteria for who can qualify for that debate. Um, who do you anticipate um, will meet those qualifications and I think more importantly agree to some of them, uh, given the third one is they'd have to back any nominee who becomes um, the nominee for the GOP. Right. And I don't want to list all the names. I don't want to leave anybody well, there out. there are 12, but I do think right? That, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the debates are going to be a, a real seminal moment in this campaign. And I think that right now uh, the candidates are able to be a little bit more uh, scripted, even those who are doing town halls with more give and take. Uh, the, the debates really are more no holds barred. So you look at someone like a, a Senator Scott, who's extremely, um, extremely charismatic and is, is has a very optimistic, good story to tell. Someone like that who really could use a boost out of the kind of like lower tier of polling. You look someone like him who could who could 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 push himself to the next level. So interested to see who kind of makes a, a statement on the campaign stage or on the debate stage. And I do expect that uh, there may be a little bit of a reshuffling after the first couple of debates. Just about a minute left, but there's a lot of buzz about Representative Lauren Boebert's proposal in the House to impeach President Biden. It's now been shifted back to committee. Um, some Republicans have criticized this move as an unforced political error on her part that could backfire. What are your thoughts and the impact it may have moving forward? Well, look, I think there's a lot of uh, energy in the base behind um, uh, taking aim at uh, at President Biden. I don't know that it's the best political move. I think that Speaker McCarthy has actually done a very good job of kind of managing the various factions of the uh, House Republican conference. So I would not be surprised if this doesn't actually come up for a vote before the full House. John Seaton, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.